Hello! If you're watching this video, you're probably working on an EV conversion project like me. Got a wiring harness without a BMS connector and had to resort to a janky setup like this. As you probably know, the BMS connector is very hard to find and you can only usually find the unpinned connector. This video is going to go over how I pin the BMS connector that I was able to find online. If you are looking for a connector, I will post links to the sources that I found in the description. The connector will come with the main body, 14 pins on a carrier strip, and a little package of seals. I didn't use the seals since I used 18 gauge wire which is thicker than the original wire. If I used the seals, I would not have been able to insert the pins. Here is a diagram of the pin locations on the 36 pin connector. This is appropriate for the 2013 and newer Nissan Leafs. Older models use a different connector, but the pinning process is probably the same. We are going to start off by separating one of the pins from the strip. You don't want to break off the bottom tab yet, as that will help you hold the pin while crimping. Cut a piece of wire and strip about 4 millimeters of insulation from the end. Crimp the strain relief tabs onto the insulation. After that, crimp the rest of the tabs over the exposed wire. Be careful to keep the profile about the same as the connector pin and don't smash it too flat. You'll want to keep this as small as possible so that you can fit it into the connector hole. Once everything is crimped, it's good to have something to hold your wire while you are soldering. Carefully solder your pin, making sure that you don't put too much solder on the connection. Again, if you put too much, the pin may not fit. At this point, you can break off the tab. You will be putting the proverbial square peg into the round hole. The hole that the pin will go into is square on one on the inside, but round in the back. There is a nub or bump on one side of the pin that needs to go up towards the top of the connector which is towards the first row. You should be able to easily insert the pin at, and it will lock into place. Please be careful to put the pin in the correct hole or you will need to use a de-pinning tool to remove the pin. Trying to pull out the pin without the proper tool will most likely break something. Repeat this process until all 14 wires are inserted. You now have a connector that you can easily splice onto your leaf wiring harness.